two court cases for Justin Bieber next week, one in Toronto, another in Florida. That's topping tonight's Entertainment City. The first case uh, this afternoon is uh, Justin Bieber. Another day, another legal delay for Justin Bieber. A Florida judge is hitting the pause button on the singer's DUI case, postponing the decision on whether or not the charges will go to trial until next week. This could be a sign that a plea deal is in the works. Bieber was arrested in Miami Beach back in January on suspicion of street racing. The Canucks lawyer due back in court August 13th. Olivia Wilde strikes a stunning pose inside Glamour's September issue. The actress is breastfeeding her son, Otis, while donning a designer dress. The 30-year-old, who admits she doesn't usually look like this when she's feeding her baby, tells the mag, breastfeeding is the most natural thing. Wilde and her actor fiancé, Jason Sudeikis, welcomed their bundle of joy back in April. You can read more about the new mom when Glamour comes to your next issue app a week from today. Kim Kardashian is clearing up some misconceptions about her and hubby Kanye West's over-the-top wedding on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Kanye gave a, a very long toast, a 45-minute toast that was about himself. Is that true? <laughs> no, it was about 20 minutes. Okay. And it wasn't, it wasn't about himself. It was about us and everyone that was there. <laughs> After clearing things up, the reality TV star and the late night host put their diaper skills to the test. Oh, the babies are crying now. My baby shockingly doesn't cry. The baby, oh, mine's peeing. Congratulations. Guillermo, there's your prize. Well, Emma Thompson talks about saving the world in an Entertainment City exclusive, but first star Brad Smith had the task of sitting down with Megan Fox to talk Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Do not say a word about this to anyone. If you do, we will find you. The heroes in a half shell return to the big screen Friday. Entertainment City's Brad Smith caught up with the flick's human star to talk turtles. We will find you them. <sighs> I'm guessing then Michelangelo's your favorite turtle? Definitely. Really? You're not going to go for the dark brooding one? The the rough and tumble Raphael or anything? He's not your favorite. Leo is your favorite, right? Yeah. How'd you know that? I can tell because it, everyone loves the turtle that most closely represents themselves. And aside from you being covered in head to toe blue, you come across as like the calm, stoic leader type. Really? Yeah. Oh. Sensei! Stay tuned for part two of Brad's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sit down with Megan Fox and Canuck funny man Will Arnett later this week. Mary Poppins is not for sale. I won't have her turned into one of your silly cartoons. Says the woman who sent a flying nanny with a talking umbrella. She's one of Britain's most recognized actresses with a major Hollywood presence. In this Entertainment City exclusive, Emma Thompson tells us about her latest venture, a trip to the Arctic with Greenpeace. I've always once been fascinated by the Arctic, but the Arctic is somewhere you can't go. So it was a remarkable invitation with an outfit that I've belonged to for some time. Thompson's daughter is joining her on the 10-day journey, which is part of Greenpeace's Save the Arctic campaign. Melting of the ice in the Arctic is going to have a deep and profound effect upon her generation and, in particular, their children. And the Arctic is us. We are it. Without it, we're over. 